channel on today's video I am going to be doing my everyday makeup look I haven't done one of these in a while and I did change my everyday makeup look so I am going to be showing you that so before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also please give this video a thumbs up and please make sure you follow me on my social media and yeah let's go ahead and get started so I am going to be putting this on my hair just so it won't get on the way. So for my primer, I've really been using the Morphe primer. This is a revitalizer primer. I love it because your skin feels so soft and it actually feels moisturized. So I am going to be applying this all over my skin. And then for my foundation, I have been mixing two foundations. So the first foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me and I'm in the shade 220. And the second foundation, i really been liking this foundation, is the Morphe foundation in the shade F2.20. So I just mix a little bit of both. So something like this. And the Morphe, I just add like a tiny bit because since it is matte, I don't really want like a lot of full coverage on an everyday makeup look, if you know what I mean. So I just add a tiny bit. And actually what I've been doing is I've been putting my foundation with a brush and this is a Morphe M6 brush. And then on some areas, I'll go in with the beauty sponge and I use this tiny one by Morphe. It's a Jeffree Star um, Morphe sponge. So once I have my concussion here, I just mix it a little bit and I start in pieces because the Morphe foundation does dry quite fast. And then I just go in circular motions. And then right here around the nose area because every time I put on foundation with a brush around my nose, my nose just won't grab it. So I have to go in with this beauty sponge and just tap it here around my nose area. As you guys can see, I still have a lot of product here left. So I'm just going to be wiping that away. I actually think I put a lot of foundation on because... Usually I put less because sometimes it's not this much that I'm left with. So moving on that I have this, I'm gonna go on to I'm gonna move on to my concealer. And I've really been liking this Morphe concealer and I'm in the shade C1.65. So I really like this because it's full coverage and also it's very creamy and it's very easy to blend. The only thing is that it does dry quick, so you have to work fast. So I'm gonna be applying this under my eye. On my forehead on the nose and a little bit here and as you guys can see I don't apply a lot because like I said it is full coverage so I'm gonna be grabbing this tiny beauty blender this tiny sponge once again this is the Morphe and Jeffree Star sponge I am noticing that this sponge, well, the Morphe sponge is a little bit stiffer than the um, Beauty Blender, but all my Beauty Blenders are dirty right now, and I did not have time to wash them, so that's why I'm using this one, but I am noticing that it is a little bit stiff under my eye. But it still works, but I'm just used to using the Beauty Blender. Okay, so now I am going to be setting my under eye, and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. So I'm going to be grabbing that um, beauty sponge and then just grab a little bit of powder and set under my eye. So now I'm going to grab my powder brush and this is the Morphe Y1 brush. It looks like this, very fluffy. I'm just going to be at, um, I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit of that same powder and then just buff it all over my skin I 
And since the Morphe foundation is full coverage and it's matte, I really don't like to add a lot of powder. That's why I only add a little bit of powder because then my face is going to look cakey and we don't want that. So moving on from here, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and lately for eyebrows, I've been really liking to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love the Anastasia Brow Definer, but lately if it's just an everyday look, I like to use this one because I really don't apply a lot. So I feel like you can control it more with this one. With the other one, I feel like it's, it's heavier and it applies like darker. And this one you have more control over the pencil. So I've really been liking this one right now. So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to be moving on to my eyes. And I'm not going to prep my eyes because I already put concealer and set it with powder. So what I've been really liking for an everyday look is I've been using the, Nudie, the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie Palette. And this is what the shades look like right here. They are so pretty. So I mainly only use, let me see, one, two, three. I mainly use four shades and I use this one this one this one and this one that's about it that's the only shades that i use so i'm going to be starting with my crease color and i like to use this shade right here which is called strip so i'm going to be grabbing that and then just apply it all over my crease And the next shade that I'm going to be using is this shade right here, which is called Streaking. And I'm also going to be applying that on my crease. The brush that I'm using is a Morphe R6, I want to say. It already worn off, but I'm pretty sure it's an R6. And I use the same brush for everything. So the next shade that I'm going to be using is this one and it is called Butt Naked and I'm going to be putting this on the outer V and then just work it in into my crease. So mainly in the outer V in circular motions and whatever's left I'll bring it towards the crease. Okay, so the top part is basically complete. So now I'm going to be moving on to my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to be using this one, which is called Nakey Nakey. And it's a dark brown shade. And I'm going to be lining my under eye with this. This is a flat definer brush. It's a Morphe Y21 brush. So once I have that lined up, I'm going to be using a Morphe E36 brush, which is just a small pencil brush. And I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of Butt Naked right here. And then just above the under eye. And for my eyes, that's basically about it. Now I am going to be adding my eyeliner and for eyeliner I use the Sephora Co liner in the shade Cocoa so what I do with this, this is going to look kind of weird but I kind of put it in there and close my eyes and then just apply it so what this is going to do it applies the eyeliner to the top waterline and to the bottom waterline so that's why I like to do this because it applies it to both sides as you guys can see, it applied to the top one and it applied to the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to leave my eyes like this for right now. What I'm going to be doing is moving on to my face. So for bronzer, you all know that I like to use the Morphe bronzer. And this is in the shade Celebutante. This is a bronzer, so it's a bronzer and contour at the same time. But I use it as a bronzer. And I'm using my Morphe M527 brush. And then for my contour, I use the Anastasia Contour Kit, which looks like this. And I use this middle shape right here. And I'm going to be using my Morphe Y11 brush, which is this tiny guy right here. 
and I just add a tiny bit right here. And also on my nose. So moving on for a blush, I use the Morphe. I use the Morphe blush palette. It looks like this. This is the 8W palette. And I like to use this shade right here, which is called Unapologetic. And I just grab a little bit and apply it on the apples of my cheeks and work it towards my temple over here. So now before I add anything else, what I like to do is just take my Morphe setting spray and I like to spray my entire face. And then I like to grab my Beauty Blender um, puffy thingy and just tap it right here, mainly where my highlight is going to go. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit, which looks like this and like this. And I basically only use two shades. So I'm going to be using one of my favorite brushes right now. And it's the Morphe M451, which looks like this. And I'm going to be grabbing these two shades right here, combining them. And I'm going to be applying that on my highlight, on my cheekbones. And also on my tip of my nose. Cupid's bow and then at the end I'll add the highlight on the inner corner so now I'm going to be adding mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back for mascara I just use my roller lash mascara because it's my favorite mascara of all time so I'm going to be adding uh, mascara and adding my false my falsies and I'll be right back okay so now that I'm back um I already applied my eyelashes and mascara and now after I apply my lipstick I'm going to be spraying my face once again so my highlighter can set so I'm gonna be spraying then I'm gonna be applying the highlighter to my inner corner and I'm using this MAC brush which is a 316 brush it's just like a tiny tiny brush and I'm gonna be grabbing this shade on the top right here which is called gumdrop it has kind of like pink reflex to it so i like to use this on the inner part of my eye and on the brow bone and then last but not least, I'm going to be applying my liquid lipstick. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetic in the shade, lip liner in the shade Autumn. And for my liquid lipstick, I'm also going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick. And this is a velvet liquid lipstick in the shade Low Key. This has been my go-to lipstick and I use this, and I use this a lot. So... I've really been liking this one. So this is it. This is the final result. This is what I do um, almost every day. If we just want to go out to have dinner or go to the store or run some errands, this is usually what I'll do. And it usually takes me like, I want to say like 10 to 15 minutes. It just depends if I apply lashes or not. But it doesn't take me that long. It took me a while right now because I was um, explaining to you guys and showing you guys what I was using. But usually it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes depending. And it's super quick and it's easy. It looks natural. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.